This is BBC One Wales. Good evening. Now the BBC News at six o'clock with Fiona Bruce and Thomas Davis. The government announces a pay rise for public sector workers, though how much won't be known until next year. Firefighters, police, military and teachers will be among those to see an increase after the pay freeze imposed last year. What have been really tight times, the, the fact that the cost of living has been going up um, and wages haven't been will have affected everybody. How big will the pay rise be? The government can't confirm whether it will be in line with inflation. Also tonight, a virtual audience today for the Queen, but the palace announced that she will not attend the Global Climate Summit COP26 in Glasgow. On the set of Sir David Attenborough's latest series, he says world leaders mustn't delay on climate change any longer. If we, well, if we don't act now, it will be too late. Covid infections are falling in England, but the government says it's too soon to draw any firm conclusions. The raw sewage pumped into the sea for 49 hours straight and the government under pressure to stop it. And bowing out, the princess who's quit the Japanese royal family to marry her commoner fiancé. In Wales today, COVID infection rates hit another record high, but a leading expert says they could soon be coming down. And what would persuade you to switch to electric cars? An action plan is announced by ministers. and welcome to the BBC News at six. Millions of public sector workers will get a pay rise next year. The government says it will lift the pay freeze introduced last November and nurses, teachers, members of the armed forces are among those who will benefit. The increase won't be known until next spring and depends on recommendations from independent pay review bodies. The government won't confirm whether the pay rises will be above inflation. Labour says tax and price rises mean families are facing a cost of living crisis. Here's our political editor, Laura Koonsberg.